Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I've paid for a Dot .Mac subscription from Apple, and I've also paid for an MSN subscription from Microsoft. Uh, and I've paid about the same amount for each one. Uh, for a while, uh, I dropped Dot .Mac and then picked it up again when they announced a few new services with it and the subscription. Uh, and it's, I think, been worth it, especially to have the synchronization features that Dot .Mac offers. Of course, I can't call it Dot .Mac for much longer because today Apple announced a complete rebrand. Dot .Mac henceforth will be known as Mobile Me. And it makes a heck of a lot of sense and if you're asking if Mobile Me is worth the subscription price of $99 a year for one person or $149 for a family plan, my answer is yes, especially if you have an iPhone. Now, if you don't have an iPhone, is Mobile Me still worth it? Well, yeah, because you still get great synchronization features, you still get web-based applications, and you get a good experience, no matter if you're running on a Mac or on Windows, or just any PC in general. Mobile Me is uh, giving you access to 20 gigabytes of space in the cloud, as they say. And uh, you know, with that, you can throw your photos on there. You got email. Uh, you've got the ability to have a calendar and share that calendar uh, with you know, your family or just about anybody, for that matter. Uh, you have the ability to use either Apple's programs like Mail app or iCal or even Microsoft Outlook to access your account. And I know you're thinking, well, Chris, I already have a free Gmail account. Why would I want to get Mobile Me? Well, again, if you have the iPhone, Mobile Me is just kind of a no brainer. Is it expensive? Yeah. But here's my situation I'm already paying, uh, I'd say, roughly about the same amount for an exchange account where I can get my email hosted, my calendars hosted, etc., and then I can share it uh, with my wife, uh, Ponzi. Um, so I'm already paying for email, and you may be too. And if you're not, um, you know, hey, great. Uh, if you're fine with getting away with those free services, great. Mobile Me is not for you. If you don't want to pay anything, uh, fine. But before you pass judgment, uh, I suggest watching the tour, uh, stepping through the tour, which right now is at apple.com slash mobile me. And right up front right now it says push email, push contacts, and push calendar. Again, the whole idea is that it's going to enable you to have the same data everywhere. On your phone, on your laptop or notebook computer, and on your desktop. One of the reasons why Ponzi and I started to use an exchange account for our email and calendars was that we were tired of synchronizing and putting this file here and that file here and losing this PST and putting that there, never having the right contacts, never knowing if you've synchronized it. Well, the idea of push automatically is that if you change something here, it automatically updates there. And then when it updates there, it automatically updates there. It's just always the same data, no matter what device you're accessing it from. And that is what Mobile Me is going to enable you to do. In fact, right up front, they say it's exchange for the rest of us. Now, up front, I don't know if Mobile Me and, and the features that it's, it's going to do, the push email, push contacts, push calendar, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the email portion of it because they haven't mentioned anything about custom domains. I have a domain, lockernome.com. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Um, I would love to use the web-based mail app that they've uh, been uh, demonstrating in the walkthroughs because it looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, the photo app, the web-based photo app in MobileMe looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, you, they, they are really understanding that it's less about where you are and more about where your stuff is. You don't want to have to think, oh, did I synchronize this? Uh, did I update that? Did I put this here? You know, right now, and I, I likely will use this uh, indefinitely, I'm uh, using Plaxo, which was an application that, or I guess a web service that was recently acquired by Comcast. Uh, I use that to synchronize uh, my desktop 
with my Google Calendar, and then from there I can access it on uh, devices like my iPhone or really anywhere. Um, it's going to be really interesting to see how many Windows users or even you know Linux users, PC people, uh, pick up and subscribe to Mobile Me because there are a lot of Windows users who have an iPhone, right? And you know, do they want to have access to um, you know photo storage? Uh, and uh, you know, have access to you know a nice web-based calendar, no matter their operating system. Do they have an email address? You probably already have an email address. That's probably not as big a deal for someone like you. It's more of a big a deal for someone who doesn't have something like that, or certainly doesn't have an easy way of managing it. I'm I'm really curious to know how they're going to support if they are going to support any kind of custom domains with email but as I mentioned in another video the next version of Mac OS 10 the desktop uh, operating system uh, from Apple uh, is going to support exchange directly on the desktop so I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more interplay for people like myself who already have an exchange account uh, mobile me uh, they say right up front it's all about making your data accessible just about anywhere uh, it's pretty much dot Mac only it's been rebranded as mobile me which t to me does make sense because it's all about enabling me to access the same stuff my stuff anywhere and everywhere so you've got the iDisk your photo gallery calendar contacts mail uh, the other uh, generally most of the other services are still intact the services that you're used to with dot Mac there's a few of them that have been dropped I think iCards that was a, a bonus for dot Mac and I don't know anybody who ever used that, so it's fine that they drop support for that in MobileMe. Um, and as I said, the pricing is pretty competitive. Uh, it's uh, it's something that I will likely be signing up uh, for a family plan on, if only to have uh, access to 40 gigabytes of storage in the cloud uh, that could be used for temporary storage or just backup storage. Um, you know, a way to have a nicer calendaring experience between me and the rest of my family. Um, you know, this is a this is the way I think we're going to be marching forward, living more on the web. I've mentioned this, uh, you know, a thousand times. And Microsoft is, is certainly not out of this race yet. Uh, they a few weeks ago announced Live Mesh, and I'm not going to say it's exactly like Mobile Me. Uh, for one, you need to have Windows, Windows apps. Um, I mean, at least that's what other people are, are stating. Because uh, I haven't used it. I don't have access to it. They've just got a tech preview at this point in time. Uh, but with it, you can keep your uh, devices in sync. You can have, like, you know, shared folders, uh, you know, a live desktop. Uh, the idea is, again, to make your life and the data in your life decentralized and some people are, are nervous about this people like my parents they're like I don't know about putting my stuff out there on the web I'm like I don't think you're gonna have much of a choice it's just the way it's gonna be I mean it's a reality for some of us that we have more than one computer and maybe we have more than two computers in our house that's that's my life and I've got three computers if you will I've got an iPhone I've got a, a notebook computer and I got my desktop not to mention a, a, a zillion other computers around the house. PCs, Macs, doesn't matter to me. It's a computer. So I want to get to my data no matter where I'm at. Uh, and MobileMe is a step in the right direction. If you don't want to pay the money, no one's forcing you to do it. I'm saying, though, that it's going to be nice for a lot of people who have to deal with more than one computer. Now, if you don't, not that big a deal. If you don't have the iPhone, then it's even less of a big deal. Uh, but if you have more than one device, mobile me will be nice. It'll be interesting to see if Microsoft uh, kind of ups the ante and, and, and makes uh, the live mesh uh, more compatible with devices that aren't Windows uh, centric. Um, I mean, because Apple kind of said, "Hey, we'll work anywhere." Got to got to hand that to Apple. There, that, that's kind of nice to to see and hear. So anyway, mobile me. Uh, I, I'm certainly going to be continuing my dot .Mac subscription. Can't call it that anymore. It's called mobile me. Anyway, what are your thoughts? Have you had it before? Have you subscribed to MSN before? Are you using Live Mesh? What do you think? Is it good? Is it something you'd recommend for others? Uh, and, and by others, I mean like regular people, not just other geeks. 
it's kind of the, the end game for all this. It's not about what you and I think. It's what the people who don't know much about what you and I know, uh, what they think. So to get to that point, we got to talk about it. We, we got to make this industry better. We got to help other people as much as we possibly can, even though when they ask for our advice and you, we give it to them, they don't listen to us and then they get mad at us because they did something that we suggested they not do and they did it anyway and then they get mad. Not like we haven't walked down that path before a million times. But we can't say I told you so. Oh, heaven forbid. My email address is chris at perillo.com. You're also welcome to leave a comment or remark uh, what your thoughts are on all these services. What are you waiting for? What are you not a a anticipating? Uh, what do you not like about these things? Uh, and of course, you're also welcome to swing by the chat room, which is streaming pretty much uh, all the time. Uh, because it's just people going back and forth about technology topics in general and uh, we're also you know doing this live video thing right now like as you're watching this video I'm actually doing something else and you can watch me doing that something else possibly with the people in the chat room but there's only one place to find that and that's at live.perillo.com we'll see you later